Hi and very good day to you. Today I will do a lab session which is to design a series voltage regulator circuit with using the OM. Uh, first, I need to place all the components required for the design. So I will just quit designing it and explain a little bit. Okay, the circuit is completely done now. So, from what we can see here is this part is conceived of OM connected with the transistor and the output voltage is sampled using this voltage divider circuit. So, this point voltage is applied at inverting terminal and through the Zener diode, the reference voltage is applied at non-inverting terminal. We can see that this OM is operating in closed loop configuration which is in negative feedback. So from so from this configuration the voltage at inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal are equal. So before that I consider this point as a V plus and this part uh V minus and for the Zener diode is VZ. So we can say that V plus is equal to V minus and from over here V plus also is equal to VZ. So from so from this we notice that V minus can also represent as R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times with V naught. V naught is output voltage. So from this we can get that V0 is equal to 1 plus R1 divided by R2 times with Vz. So by deciding the value of Vz, R1 and R2, we can get the regulated output voltage. But for this case, the output voltage has already been given by the lab task, which is the 10 volt. So I uh, just need to prove to get that value. So we put the multimeter here. and just run it <coughs> and so the result show is 10.259 volt which is almost get the same as the 10 volt from the lab task given so i guess it proved the formula to get the output value and also through this simulation Okay, today we are going to design a shunt voltage regulator using an operational amplifier. The input and output desired are as shown at the bottom of the video. First, we need to place our supply input, which is VCC and VEE. We will set the voltage later. Next, we can place our DC supply. We will set it at 20 volt. And next, we can place a Zener diode rated at 5.1 volt. We need to place our transistor. We will use a transistor of BD135. Next, we can place our resistors. We will use uh, five resistors, so we can copy and paste. So finally, we need to place uh, an operational amplifier. We will use LM741. Uh, 
uh, we need to change our positive supply to 18 volt and the negative supply to negative 18 volt and connect it to the operational amplifier. Next, we can connect our Zener diode with the negative input of the operational amplifier. Then we need to connect our DC supply to the resistor and the Zener diode. need to place our Arshan, we can relabel it to RS and set it to 22 ohm. The output of the amplifier will connect to the uh, base of the transistor. And the collector pin will connect with the Arshan. Then we need to set up our game for the amplifier, the RF and the RE. We set the RE input to one key and the R feedback equals to 1.35k to get the output of the result. The resistor will be connected to the positive input of the amplifier. Finally, we can place our unload and unload, uh, we need to set it to 20 kilo for this lab. For multi sim we need to manually determine the ground point of the circuit. So we need to place the ground and connect it with our circuit. We can place a point to connect our circuit. Finally, the emitter pin will be connected to the ground. We can use a DC a multimeter to determine the to read the voltage output. So as we can see the voltage output is equal to plus zero. Hi assalamualaikum today I will explain about my part which is design tree basic shunt regulator using ICLM317 as you can see I already finished design the circuit and the lab sheet has already given the value of output voltage which is a 12 volt so from that value I need to get the value of R1 and R2 for this circuit so how I can how I get this value so I use this kind of formula and then the v ref is the fixed value and this current also fixed value so the question already give the output voltage which is the 12 volt okay so for starting i need to get the value of one resistor inside this circuit so i'm using a r1 because most of the circuit basic shunt regulator circuit they all they mostly put uh, potential meter at R2 so it can be adjustable so I think the R1 is can be a fixed value so I'm using uh, 22 ohms from this value 
sorry, from this formula, I can rearrange back to get the value of R2. So I already calculated it. So I get the value is 189.18 ohms. So we already have the value of R1 and also R2. So we just put the value inside here, 26 ohm, and inside here is 189.18 ohms, which have uh, some increment 5%. Okay, before we start the simulation, I want to remind about the VE. How we want to determine the value of VE? Uh, to determine this value, we need to make sure the value of V in is greater than V out. So our V out is 12. So I put my value for V in is 20. So 20 is greater than 12. So let's we run this script. I'm using a digital multimeter to read the output voltage. So as you can see, the value is 11.997 volt. If we round off this value, we can get the value of 12 volt. So that's meaning this circuit is fully functioning. That's all from my part. Thank you.